On May 26, 1991, the skies above Thailand turned into a nightmare for everyone on board Lauda Air Flight 004. What seemed like a routine flight from Bangkok to Vienna quickly spiraled into one of aviation's most horrifying tragedies. As the Boeing 767 soared at 30,000 feet, a sudden and catastrophic malfunction took control of the plane, sending it plummeting toward the ground in a deadly twist of fate. In this documentary, we dive deep into the mysterious failure that led to the crash, the groundbreaking investigation that followed, and the lessons learned from one of the darkest days in aviation history. Join us as we uncover the untold story of Lauda Air Flight 004. On May 26, 1991, Lauda Air Flight 004 began its preparation for departure at Don Wang International Airport in Bangkok. The aircraft, a Boeing 767-300ER, had arrived earlier from Hong Kong's legendary Kai Tak Airport, where it had completed its previous leg. The plane underwent standard pre-flight checks, and the crew, consisting of experienced pilots and cabin staff, prepared for its next journey a passenger service to Vienna International Airport. Lauda Air was an Austrian airline founded by legendary Formula One driver Niki Lauda in 1979, originally aimed at providing high-quality service for both charter and scheduled flights. He was passionate about flying because every time he piloted an aircraft, it gave him the feeling of having to always control the plane and follow the flight rules. At that time, Lauda Air operated three weekly flights between Bangkok and Vienna. Don Moyang International Airport in Bangkok, one of the world's oldest operating airports, has been a key hub for both domestic and international flights since its opening in 1914. Known for its rich history and strategic location, it played a pivotal role in Thailand's aviation development, serving as the main gateway to the country before the opening of Suvarnabhumi Airport in 2006. Lauda Air Flight 004, operating under the call sign LA-004, took off from Don Wang International Airport in Bangkok at approximately 11.30 p.m. local time. The flight's planned route covered a distance of approximately 8,500 kilometers, with a flight time of about 12 hours, heading northwest over the South China Sea toward Vienna International Airport. The aircraft was set to pass over several key airspaces, including those of India, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe, before descending into Vienna for its scheduled landing. The aircraft involved in the incident was a Boeing 767-300ER, the 283rd unit of the Boeing 767 series, equipped with Pratt and Whitney PW4060 engines. Delivered to Lauda Air on October 16, 1989, the aircraft was registered as OELAV and named Mozart. At the time of the incident, the number two engine had been installed since the aircraft's assembly accumulating 7,444 hours and 1,133 cycles. Meanwhile, the number one engine, which had the faulty thrust reverser, had been on the aircraft since October 3, 1990, with 2,904 hours and 456 cycles. On the evening of May 26, 1991, the fateful flight carrying 135 people including 10 crew members and many passengers from Hong Kong, Germany, and Austria, departed from Kai Tak Airport in Hong Kong en route to Vienna, Austria. After a stopover at Bangkok Airport, 88 more passengers boarded the aircraft. At this point, the crew also changed, consisting of two pilots and eight flight attendants. The passengers and crew on board included 83 Austrians, consisting of 74 passengers and nine crew members. 
Other nationalities represented were 52 residents of Hong Kong, 39 Thai, 10 Italians, 7 Swiss, 6 Chinese, 4 Germans, 3 Portuguese, 3 Taiwanese, 3 Yugoslavs, 2 Hungarians, 2 Filipinos, 2 Britons, 3 Americans, 2 passengers and the captain, as well as 1 Australian, 1 Brazilian, 1 Polish and 1 Turkish passenger. The flight was under the command of American Captain Thomas John Welch, age 48, and Austrian First Officer Joseph Thurner, age 41. Both pilots were highly regarded for their experience and competence. Captain Welch had a long career in aviation, known for his professionalism and skill, while First Officer Thurner was also an experienced pilot with extensive training. Both had a strong reputation within the aviation community for their ability to handle complex flight operations. Their teamwork and professionalism were key to the operation of Lauda Air Flight 004, and they were widely respected by colleagues and peers. At 2302 ICT on May 26, 1991, the Boeing 767-3 Z9ER was cleared by air traffic control and took off from Don Mueang International Airport in Bangkok, beginning its passenger service to Vienna International Airport with 213 passengers and 10 crew members on board. Six minutes after takeoff, the flight was still in the process of gaining altitude, aiming to reach flight level 31 or 31,000 feet. At 2308, Welch and Thurner saw a visual warning on the EICAS display, indicating a potential system failure that could cause the thrust reverser on the number one engine to deploy, one engine to deploy during flight. The thrust reverser system is designed to help slow down the aircraft upon landing. It is equipped on many jetliners to reduce speed immediately after touchdown, decrease brake wear, and allow for shorter landing distances. Typically, the thrust reverser is only activated during landing, specifically when the aircraft's wheels first make contact with the runway. The sudden warning of a potential activation of the thrust reverser while the aircraft was still in the process of gaining altitude was highly unusual and perplexing. If this were true, it could have a severe impact on the safety of the flight. After consulting the aircraft's quick reference handbook, the pilots assessed the situation and concluded that the alert, which was intermittently appearing and disappearing, was merely an advisory warning. 
They determined that it did not require immediate corrective action, likely believing it to be a false indication. Additionally, the pilots were aware that the Boeing 767 was capable of landing safely with only one functioning thrust reverser, so they felt confident that the flight could continue without immediate risk. Despite the unusual nature of the warning, they chose to proceed, possibly underestimating the potential seriousness of the issue. They reached this conclusion partly because the Boeing Quick Reference Handbook also advised pilots not to take any action upon receiving such a warning. This guidance led them to believe that the alert was not a cause for immediate concern, reinforcing their decision to continue the flight without taking corrective measures. At 2317, while the plane was flying at flight level 31 over mountainous jungle terrain near the border of Sufunburi and Uthaithani provinces in Thailand, the number one engine's thrust reverser unexpectedly deployed. This took both pilots by surprise, Thurner exclaimed. Oh, the reverser's deployed. the aircraft suddenly tilted sharply to the left and began to roll. Due to the design of the thrust reverser, an aerodynamic plume of air disturbed the airflow over the leading edge of the left wing as the engine reduced to idle thrust. This caused a 25% loss of lift and led to an aerodynamic stall. Various alerts, including overspeed warnings and a second master caution, were triggered. Along with Welch's last recorded words, Jesus Christ, in response to the rapid rolling sensation, followed by, here, wait a minute, as he brought engine one's thrust lever to idle and shut down the engine. His final words were, damn it. After this, the CBR recorded an increase in background wind noise, followed by several loud bangs. The loss of the tail resulted in increased negative loading on the wings, causing the airplane to experience mock tuck and pitch nose down. As a result, it reached a speed of at least Mach 0.99, breaking the sound barrier. Spreading rapidly. With the flames spreading rapidly, a massive rapidly, fireball quickly vanished as the plane crashed into the quickly forest. Vanished as the, the wreckage plane was scattered across into the remote, forest. mountainous wooded the terrain, was scattered covering an area of approximately one square kilometer, zero point three nine square miles, at an elevation of six hundred meters, zero point three nine square miles, now part of Putoi National Park, at an elevation of six hundred meters, two thousand feet, now part of Putoi National Park in Sufanburi. The crash site is located about six kilometers four miles, three nautical miles, north-northeast of Hutoi, Wai Kamin, Tai Huikmin, in the Don Chang district of Sufan Buri province, roughly 100 kilometers, 62 miles, 54 nautical miles northwest of Bangkok, near the Burma-Thailand border. Rescuers found Captain Welch's body still in the pilot seat. The flight data recorder was completely destroyed, leaving only the cockpit voice recorder available for analysis. The official investigation conducted by Thailand's Aircraft Accident Investigation Committee took about eight months to complete. The committee concluded that the probable cause of the accident was 
an uncommanded in-flight deployment of the left engine thrust reverser, which resulted in the loss of flight path control. However, the specific cause of the thrust reverser deployment was never definitively determined. Various possibilities, such as a short circuit in the electrical system, were considered, but the extensive damage to the wiring prevented investigators from identifying the exact reason for the activation of the thrust reverser. Niki Lauda described the crash and the subsequent period as the worst time in his life, even more difficult than his recovery from the injury sustained in the 1976 German Grand Prix crash. Following the Flight 004 disaster, bookings from Hong Kong dropped by 20%, although this was balanced out by an increase in bookings from passengers in Vienna. In early August 1991, Boeing issued an alert to airlines, noting that over 1,600 late model 737s, 747s, 757s, and 767s had thrust reverser systems similar to the one on OELAB. Two months later, airlines were instructed to replace potentially faulty valves in the thrust reverser systems, which could cause the reversers to deploy in flight. At the crash site, which is open to National Park visitors, a shrine was established to honor the victims. Another memorial and cemetery can be found at Watsakeo Shrisenpech, located about 90 kilometers, 56 miles, 49 nautical miles, away in Mueng Supanburi district. 